Obviously, Belgium are top three points from their two games. Ireland and Scotland, two draws from their two. There's the Bulgarian coach there, Milanov. And like the day of the first meeting of these countries in June 1977, today has been one of steady, heavy rain. 24 hours non-stop. No late changes on either side. But both showing two changes from the last game. And Ireland possibly setting something of an international record in fielding three pair of fullbacks, different fullbacks in the last three games. It was Langan and Beglin in Poland, McGrath and Whelan in Scotland, Anderson and Houghton in Bulgaria. Nikolov. This is Ilya, the big centre back. Mikhailov. Nikolov. Ilyev again. And the first hard challenge of the game. See Frank Staple in there calling back. And the signs are out as Mick McCarthy went into that crunch. And the hard man of the Irish defence limps away from that. Ilyev. Bezinski, new man. And still the rain pours down. The Irish seem to think that these sort of conditions will suit them. And we were talking to the Bulgarian manager earlier on and he feels that it will suit Bulgaria. So, you take your pick out of that. Certainly with these gluey conditions, it's going to hold it up for the challenges, all right. Indirect free kick here to Bulgaria. Iliev. McCarthy went out in the challenge. He stopped the screen off. Kolev. The screen off again. Sad to me enough. Ireland a bit stretched at the back then. And it's Frank Stapleton back to help in his defence. Packy Bonner, 16th international. Aldridge. Jimmy Troff, the skipper, plays now at Saint-Étienne in France. John Anderson, Iskrenov. Play on, and back with Paul McGrath. Very early surge here from the Bulgarians. Nikolov, Ilyev. Chris Hutton with Tanev. Nikolov. Brady. Galvan. Dimitrov, Georgi Dimitrov. 72nd international. Hard challenge by Kevin Moran. Whelan, Aldridge, McGrath, Staple and Aldridge at the back post. In goes Galvan. And probably deny John Aldridge the chance of that. Ireland's first attack, four minutes gone. Mikhailov here, the man who was banned for life and was brought back to play for Bulgaria in the World Cup. Up. 
Ground about half full here, about 32 to 33,000. What brave souls they are to come out in these conditions. See the ball holding up there on Stapleton in the conditions. Mr. Valente, the Portuguese referee, has penalized the Bulgarians. And big man Eliev gets himself. Here's a look at that again. Eliev's challenge from Stapleton, no doubt about the free kick. And here's Liam Brady about to take it. Most capped Republic of Ireland player. 60 seconds this evening. That was Mick McCarthy making the late jump. This Hewton. Trying to find Brady. Idea was very good. Liam Brady. All the young people here yesterday at training wanting the autograph of a man they know so well. First from Arsenal, then from Italy. Now, of course, West Ham United. Iliad, this big stopper of Bulgaria. Boroslav Mikhailov. Here's Pazinski into the side because Petrov is injured. Kolev. That was Tanov on the move. Tanov still, McCarthy stretching to him. Tanov cross, and it's Galvin back to sweep it away for Ireland. Dazinski. Sirakov and Tanov and Estrenov are in the penalty box awaiting a cross. first few minutes for the Irish defence. No goals in Sofia. Six and a half minutes gone. One Irish attack and the rest has been pretty predictably Bulgaria coming forward. On the home ground. Behind them those two very good away draws. But if they want to really please their own people, they've got to put on a show this evening. Chris Hewton, his 32nd international for the Republic. But he's only played four reserve games since a severe leg operation, cartilage. That's Galvin. Kevin Moran. Simeonov with the leaves the free kick to Dimitrov to Iliev. Ireland have closed them down, keeping the shape in the middle of the field. Dzinski. Ronnie Whelan, John Aldridge. Jack Charlton has said he doesn't want to get involved in a passing game with the Bulgarians. They're very quick on the one-twos. He wants to get the ball in behind their defence as often and as quickly as possible. So far, that's been pretty well denied them, but here's a chance. Stapleton backs on to his marker, but a good header by Iliev under pressure. Offside is Skrenka. Here's Sirakov. Big star in Mexico for them. Brzezinski to Dimitrov, whose manager from San Etienne is here to watch him this evening. Ireland closing them down well in the midfield and not allowing any fancy stuff. Here's Sadkoff. Good challenge by Ronnie Whelan. Stapledon to Brady. Stapleton in the run, Dimitrov across to him, the two captains, well done Stapleton, but Nikolov is back to help his keeper. Jack Charlton and co on the Irish bench. Sadkov, Iskrenov. 
Here's Moran. Tentative pass back by Moran. Now, that's interesting. He hasn't kicked a ball with his right foot for 12 days since the injury. Did not train any of the two days here in Sofia. And he has the thing well protected, bandaged, and uh, cotton wool. That right foot, the right instep for this game. So as he jokingly told us before the match, if you see me uh, side-footing some uh, passes away, I don't think there's any fancy work in my uh, behalf. Georgie Dimitri. 72 internationals this evening now for Bulgaria. McGrath closing down Ilya very quickly then. Here's Kolev. John Anderson. And there's nothing wrong with your television picture. That's rain that's falling across it. And it really is pouring here. And it has been non-stop, as I said, for 24 hours. I expect the playing surface to cut up considerably. Brady. Nicola. Instruction given, free kick Ireland. 11 minutes gone in the Vasilevsky Stadium in Sofia. Bulgaria nil, Republic of Ireland nil. The boot that hits it is that of Chris Hewton. This is Iliev, six feet three centre back. Six Simeonov. This is Tolev again. Very popular surname in this part of the world. Iliev. Lonnie Whelan, good covering back by Whelan. Good play. Finds his clubmate Aldridge. Bezinski very dangerous on that run up the left. And how quickly Whelan reacted to the danger. Massive losses, really, that Ireland has suffered in, in the absence of Lawrence and Houghton. Houghton, Jack Charlton admitted, very difficult to replace. There's non-stop running, filling in the little gaps, spotting danger signs, as well as his own attacking game. It's Brady. Knock on the head for John Aldridge. Dimitrov, Sadkov, see how quickly McGrath was on to him then, not allowing the very experienced Sadkov, 55 internationals, to settle on the ball, Nick McCarthy's header, Dimitrov, McGrath, yes, he gives advantage, he's straight up, Sadkov, Nikola. Simeonov. Nice cross by Simeonov, pulling very wide, I'm afraid. And kill the chance for the moment. Kolev back inside again. Sirakov. Sirakov again. That's Kevin Moran's defensive header. Ball getting caught in this gluey surface. Nikolov. Morn, another good win of the year by Kevin Morn. Here's Brady. Ilya, he's done well in the early stages of this game. 14 minutes gone, no go. He 
Call off. Screen off to number eight. Sadkov. Dimitrov played in Mexico for them. Very experienced, very good sweeper. In French football with Saint Etienne, he likes to play back and bar style, coming forward a lot. But I think he's going to stay home pretty well this evening. And here he is again. He has scored seven goals though for Bulgaria, so one to watch, particularly on dead ball situations. side of him. There's Kevin Morin stretching across. It's Hewton, 28 years old, Spurs fullback. Nikolov. John Anderson came in, got a vital touch to it, and Kevin Morin concedes the throw in. Now play this is club football in Belgium in Antwerp with the throw. Newton, Galvin, Aldridge. Now the ground is not helping them, and it's getting worse by the minute. Here's Dimitrov. Pazinski. Paul has had the ball. Well, they can be dangerous from this. Big Sirakov, very good. Eskrenov doesn't get a lot of goals, Eskrenov, but a very sharp operator around the box. This little runs. Kolev with the free kick. Poorly hit. Able to McGrath. That's Ronnie Whelan who's made the run outside him. Give him a bit of width. Whelan to Brady. Brady back to McGrath. A late flag, but I think a correct one. Water to seven in Bulgaria. And the scoreboard 0 0. Petrov, Kuzensky, Kolev, rather fear that the conditions now do not suit a short passing game at all, and Bulgaria may be beginning to find this, Stapleton, that's offside again, that one was closer, John Aldridge caught, Portuguese officials here. But I think he may just very well have been off when the ball was played. Semenov for Bulgaria. Sadkov makes himself available. Challenge with Paul McGrath. Here's Iskrenov. Nikolov. McGrath. Hewton. Nice little out ball. Stapleton. Oh, that's good. Stapleton to Galvan. Offside flag is up again, and it's becoming frustrating for John Aldridge on the far side. Come on, Tony! Come on up. No run on the ball at all, so everything has to be cleanly struck. Look at that.
Ilya to Nikolov. If it continues to rain like this for the rest of the game, this pitch may just be barely playable by the end. Stapleton taking up, taken out. There's some very hefty challenges in this game. So Liam Brady with the free kick. And many of these he must have taken for Ireland in this time. Now he's got Aldridge and Stapleton to aim it. And Galvin. Stapleton getting in behind Ilyev again. And down he was brought. Ball has gone dead. Goal kick is the decision. <laughs> Jack. Jack Charlton there with a word to say to Dr. Bob O'Driscoll just behind him. The foot was left in by the defender then. Off, uh, big number 10 just leaving the penalty area now. Capable of those late runs from the back. Medlanov, the many times manager of Bulgaria, great lover of Hungarian football of the 50s. About which he'd rather talk, I think, than tonight's game. Now 56 years old. Again, well punctuated by free kicks. Paul McGrath to Ronnie Whelan. Let, let a lot of it there. McGrath and again. And again, Sirakov. Hanov. Tadkov. Estrenov. With Chris Hewton. Frank Stapleton makes himself available. Good ball by Hewton. Good challenge by Iliad. <laughs> Ireland has withstood that early pressure from the Bulgarians. It came at them in the first five, six minutes. Thundering at them, athletic speed. And Ireland have kept the ship. And all it was. get organized quickly and try and avoid the quick, quick free kick and Paul McGrath has done just that he's held it up view from behind Packy Bonner's goal Kolev is there so it's Sadkov it was Kolev Mick McCarthy came up, Kolev again. Again, looking for a handball. And here's Galvin, taking a stint on the right-hand side. Pezinski. But three kicks to us. Glasgow Celtic 50 years back to Fox Foley. Another Glasgow Celtic man who kept gold for Ireland. Foul on the Irish skipper Frank Stapleton. And a chance perhaps for Liam Brady to float one in. Now let's see who they can get forward. I think they can afford to get forward. Mick McCarthy, Frank Stapleton, Tony Galvin, and John Aldrich. Paul McGrath as well. So McGrath, McCarthy, Galvin, Stapleton, Aldrich. Going towards McCarthy, been held off the ball by Sirakov. McGrath's challenge. Brady. Whelan. Aldridge. McGrath. Pull out.
This is where Bulgaria are most dangerous, on the quick break. So it's the passing movement that breaks down. It is the most dangerous time for Ireland. That time it was Paul McLeod, couldn't make the cross. Here's Dimitro, and he stayed forward. But a sad point, the pass was indeed sad. After 25 minutes of football in Sofia, Bulgaria nil, Republic of Ireland nil. With Chris Hutton to throw. Aldridge, still looking for his first Irish goal. Brady, and the ground beat him there. Here's John Anderson, long way back to Packy Bonner. Chest work there by Frank Stapleton. Whelan couldn't get it back to him. The Irish captain doing very well. He's run from right to left and through the middle. Made himself a very good target man indeed. Whelan. Galvin. Didn't have the first touch control that was required then. Kiratkov, well done, Paddy Bonner. That's an example of the danger and the quickness of Kiratkov on the break. Nikola looking for Kiratkov again. John Anderson. Good stop there by Whelan, working so hard on the right-hand side. Here he is again. That's the sort of ball over the top of the back four that makes them work back and gives Ireland time. And Jack Charlton will be happy enough with that. If you have just joined us, you have not missed a goal because there hasn't been one. 27 minutes gone in Sofia. Ireland holding the Bulgarians to nil-nil. This is Ronnie Whelan. Towards Liam Brady. Tanev, the centre forward, so far back. Taken by Aldridge, it's a booking. Yellow card for John Aldridge. So in this European Championship now, Tony Galvin, Jerry Daly, Mick McCarthy, Kevin Moore, and Mark Lawrence, and now John Aldridge are on yellow cards. Of course, uh, clearly some of those not playing in this game, but uh, so those on the yellows have got to be really careful. There's Chris Hutton, Frank Stapleton. Ronnie Whelan, good ball by Whelan. Giving a lot of space to Brady. Galvin with Nikolov. Nice, easy cross. Mikhailov not a good clearance either. Poor play by the keeper and Bulgaria lucky then. Oh, in these conditions, bad goalkeeping because the ball is holding on the surface. Galvin. Picking out at uh, Simeonov. And I was giving that uh, litany there of yellow cards. Tony Galvin is one of them. So he'd better beware. Simeonov. Sadkov. Experienced man, played in Mexico for the Bulgarians, had a good uh, world championship. 
Iskrenov to Bezinski. Kolov couldn't keep it in play. Half an hour gone, no goal. Fairly muted audience most of the way here in the Vasilevsky Stadium. McCarthy. People here are very familiar, of course, with the uh, English league scene. They know more indeed about Liverpool and Manchester United and the like than they do about uh, Patosha, Sofia, and their own famous clubs. Iliev here. He plays with Patosha, Sofia. Simeonov. Iliev again. Chris Hewton. Again, that's over the top, and they've all got to turn and play it back and regroup. And the Bulgarians hate this. At least Jack Charlton thinks they do. And uh, judging by Nick Olaf there, Big Jack may be right. Hewton, Stapleton, Brady. Brady with uh, Nikolov, Iliev. Here's Morgan. Lovely knock away there by Aldridge to Ronnie Whelan. Trying to chip Mikhailov. Goal kick Bulgaria. A lovely layoff by Aldridge. Thirty-fourth international for this man this evening. Nikolov. John Anderson for Ireland. Men with wavy hair this morning now have flat hair. Men with numbers on their backs, a lot of them have now been mud flattered. An identification in the Vasilevsky. It's becoming a little more difficult by the minute. Number 10 is Sirakov. Big star of Bulgarian football, and of course, 